If your game crashes in Stellar Blade and you get this low level fatal error, now I will guide you on how to resolve this issue. So make sure to follow these instructions very carefully. Now, what you need to do, just follow the instructions here. The first thing you need to do is update your graphics drivers. If you're using NVIDIA, you can use the NVIDIA app. If you're using the AMD, you can use the AMD Adrenaline software. So since I'm using NVIDIA, I'll open the NVIDIA application like this. Now, go here to the driver section and make sure you're using the latest drivers. As you can see, it's up to date. You can click this spinning cycle to check for any updates. And if updates are available, you can just download it from here and then install them. After installing the latest drivers, then try to relaunch the game and check if your issue has been resolved. If you're still facing again the same issue, verify your game files on Steam. To do so, just open the Steam application on your PC. Then come to the library section and look for your game, which is Stellar Blade. Now, let's say this is Stellar Blade. Make sure to right click on Stellar Blade and then select here on properties. And then select on installed files and make sure to verify integrity of your game files. Now, Steam will check for any corrupted files. And after the verification is over, try to relaunch it and check if the problem has been resolved. If you're still facing again the same issue, now go to C Program Files 86, open the Steam folder, Steam Apps. Then come on, then you'll see Stellar Blade. Open the Stellar Blade folder, you'll see SB. Open the SB and then you'll see the binaries. Now open the binaries folder, delete everything in binaries, then verify your files on Steam and it should work. So make sure to follow this. Go to C Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Stellar Blade, then SB, binaries, delete everything in binaries and then verify your files on Steam and it should work. To verify your files, it's the same as I've shown you. Just right click your game, which is Stellar Blade after deleting the binaries. Go to properties and then go to installed files and verify the integrity of your game files. Now, this will fix your problem. If you're still facing again the same issue, just open the NVIDIA control panel. So, open the NVIDIA control panel on your PC if you're using NVIDIA. Go to manage 3D settings, then find SB, which is, of course, is Stellar Blade, obviously. So, find SB.exe, which is the executable file you use to run. So just search here for NVIDIA control panel and open the NVIDIA control panel. Now select here where it is written manage 3D settings and then select here. It will ask you, I would like to use the following 3D settings. Select here on the program settings. Then make sure to add your game, which is a Stellar Blade, which is sb.exe. Make sure to scroll down all the way to look for your game, which is sb. So make sure to look for your Stellar Blade application. Select it in order to add that program. After adding that program, now follow the instructions here. Now, after adding Stellar Blade, scroll down all the way down and change the setting, which is Vulkan or OpenGL present method from auto to prefer native. So find SB Stellar Blade.exe, Stellar Blade, obviously. After adding this Stellar Blade, scroll all the way down and change the setting, which is Vulkan or OpenGL present method from auto to prefer native. And this should fix your problem. After that, try to launch the game and check if your issue has been resolved. If you're still facing again the same issue, just download this custom Unreal Engine.ini file. The link will be available on the description. Also click to that link to take you to the section here and make sure to download, just select manual to download, select here manual and then you just find the main files here to download. Now you'll choose here. If you have VPR or G-Sync pre-sync disabled on your display, make sure to download this. But if you have VPR, G-Sync, FreeSync enabled on your display, you'll have to download this here. So there are two files. Make sure to download the one which is according to you. So make sure to read this very carefully. And after downloading this, it will be found on your download section, which is basically a zip file. So just open your folders on your download. Then you'll see the Stellar Blade zip file. After extracting the zip file, it will look like this. So make sure to copy this engine and then follow the instructions here. Now after copying the engine, make sure to press win plus R. I'll press win plus R, and then make sure to paste this line here, which is percent local app data percent slash SB slash SFD slash config slash windows no editor. All these instructions will be available on the description of this video. So basically press window plus R, and then press CTR plus V to paste this. Click OK to open this directory, then replace the exit existing engine.ini file with the modded one, which you have downloaded it. Then after replacing it, right click the file that you have replaced with it, then select the properties, tick read only and click OK. This prevents the game from overwriting it. So make sure to follow these instructions very carefully. And I hope you'll be able to resolve this crash and says low level fatal error on Stellar Blade. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time.